Okay, let's talk about the AccuPlacer and specifically we're going to be talking about the next generation QAS math exam or math assessment. So if you're watching this video, um, I'm just going to assume that you know what the AccuPlacer is. If you don't, uh, the AccuPlacer is a, uh, an assessment exam used by colleges. There's different types of AccuPlacer uh, tests. Um, not just in mathematics, but in, in other areas. Uh, and in the math uh, uh, topic, uh, there's various type of math accuplacers. So specifically, the one that we're going to be talking about in this video is the QAS, which stands for Quantitative Reasoning, Algebra, and Statistics. So that's a good uh, description of what you want to know, right, for doing well on this AccuPlacer. So again, it's not really like a pass-fail. Um, I mean, there's definitely cutoffs for your college uh, in terms of, um, you know, placed into certain course levels. So you definitely want to study and do, you know, as uh, well as you can to, to place into the highest level of math possible. That's always a smart thing because it's going to save you time and money. Now, before we get going, I want to mention two things. One, my background is I'm a math teacher, taught middle school math, high school math, college math. So, you know, um, you're not going to be wasting your time <laughs> uh, spending a few minutes with me practicing some algebra, which is going to be a real core foundational uh, uh, mathematics that you're going to need to know for the AccuPlacer QAS. But the second thing I want to mention is that if you're looking for a great um, study program for the AccuPlacer QAS, I actually have a specific uh, test prep course on this and I'll leave the link in the description uh, below if you want to check that out. But with that being said, Let's get into a problem here. I'll explain it here uh, in a second. But this is a problem that you should, you know, be very uh, comfortable um, solving, you know, if you expect to do pretty well on the AccuPlace or QAS uh, math assessment. So here is the problem, and of course we'll go over it together. But just a quick practice problem to see where you're at. So given two points, okay, so here's two points on the coordinate plane, x, y plane, if you will. So here's uh, one point, two, eight and another point, negative 1, 2, what I'd like you to do is find the equation of a line that passes through these two points. Okay, so just imagine here on your x, y uh, axis here you have these two points and a line passes through those two points. What's the equation of the line? And go ahead and write it in a slope intercept form or more commonly known as y equals mx plus b form. So if you want to go ahead pause the video and give this a, uh, a quick try. That would be great. Okay, so again, I'm not going to give you a complete lecture or lesson on this. It's not the purpose of this video. It's just a quick pop quiz to check your understanding. All right, so here I have two points. Let's go and actually um, look at it this way. You don't have to do what I'm doing here, but I'm going to take just a quick moment so we can see this kind of graphically what's going on. So here's the x-axis, here's the y-axis. So we have 1.28. So 2.8 should be maybe somewhere up here, right? 2.8. And then I have another uh, point, negative 1, 2. So that would be maybe like right here. Negative 1, 2. So the point or the um, this question here is saying, okay, you got these two points on the x-y plane and a line passes through those two points. What's the equation? of this line. Okay, what's the linear equation? And we like to write linear equations in algebra using the y equals mx plus b format. You don't have to write it in this format, but this is the most common and you need to know how to do that. So that's the um, question when we look at it graphically. But the thing you need to know is when you're trying to find the equation of any line, you need two pieces of information. Okay, one, you're going to need the slope of that line. Okay, the m value, and the second thing is you're going to need at least one point that's on that line. Okay, so here I have a line. I don't have the slope. Okay, but I can easily calculate that because I got two points, and I need at least one point that's on that line. Well, here I actually have two points, right? So I can choose either one of these two points. All I need is a slope and either one of these two points I can use to calculate this. And then, of course, uh, there's a couple different um, uh, formulas that we can use to calculate this uh, equation. So first things first, let's go ahead and find the slope of this line. So let's just kind of maybe distill this down to a smaller 
pop quiz <laughs> if you don't know how to do the entire problem do you know how to find the slope of the line given these two points okay so if you do you might want to try that but let's get to it so the find the slope of the line again it's the rise over the run okay and the rise is the change in the y value so here I'll start with this 8 so this would be 8 minus 2 okay so this is y and this is the other y now notice that here I'm starting with this 8 okay this particular y that came from this coordinates values okay so this is the difference of the y so now it's I started with this coordinates value this 8 therefore I must start with this same coordinates value down here in terms of finding the differences of the x so this is going to be 2 minus a minus 1 okay so you got to be very careful I don't want to rush through this problem too much um, again uh, you know I really you know teach this thoroughly in, in my uh, uh, AccuPlace or QES math prep course uh, but right now this is just a quick review for you okay so hopefully this is uh, you know familiar stuff okay so let's go to continue on so 8 minus 2 of course is 6 and then 2 minus a minus 1 is what that would be uh, 2 plus 1 or 3 okay so the slope would be equal to 2 right 6 to, uh, over 3 is 2 so that's our slope okay now I could have used the um, uh, other coordinates information I could have started this uh, first and done this a little bit differently and still got the same answer but the slope is 2 so if you got that right that's very good now now the next step in this problem is okay find the equation of this line that has a slope of 2 and passes through either this um, this point or or that point it passes through both points but I can just select one what I always tell students to do is, is to select the easier point we'll we'll go ahead and say well the easier point is the one with the easier numbers to work with like things with ones and twos but we'll, we'll take the negative one and two alright so now let's move down here and I always kinda like to abbreviate this find the equation of the line given a slope of two and the point and the line goes to the point negative one two now at this um, stage of the problem you can find the equation by using the actual point slope um, formula here or excuse me slope intercept formula y equals mx plus b a lot of students like to do that but I uh, really kind of encourage people to use this uh, point slope formula so that's y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1 and these values here y1 m and x1 is what we're going to plug in okay so this is X this is Y and this is M so we just got to plug all this stuff into this equation and simplify and we'll get the answer so let's go and do that now so Y minus Y1 okay so what's my Y value 2 okay so this is my Y value 2 my slope again is 2 as well and this is going to be X minus X1 okay which is my X value which is negative 1 be very careful with those negative values you want to plug them in using uh, parentheses so now we're going to go and simplify so this is y minus 2 equals 2 times x minus minus 1 it's x plus 1 now I'm just going to go ahead and use a distributive property y minus 2 equals 2x plus 2 now I'm going to add 2 to both sides of the equation and I get y equals 2x plus 4 Four. okay so this is our answer that's the linear equation that describes the line that passes through these two points y equals 2x plus 4 now you could have gotten the same answer using a few other different approaches could have used the uh, slope intercept uh, formula but in this case you would have to plug everything in solve for b and then kind of go back this is a really good formula to use. It's the one I actually encourage students to uh, use, which is the point slope formula. But either way, as long as you got the right answer, then you know that's that's pretty good. Okay. But this is just a uh, a fundamental algebra skill that you're going to need to know to do well in this exam. And remember, 
IQ, the quantitative reasoning is what? Your ability to kind of reason with numbers, work with numbers, number operations, fractions, etc., all that kind of good stuff. The A is the algebra, okay, which is key to all of this stuff, okay? You really need to be super strong in algebra, then S is, of course, uh, statistics. And the statistics for this particular um, assessment, you know, we're not talking like, you know, AP statistics, just a good, um, you know, knowledge of, of basis, uh, basic statistics should do you pretty well uh, for this um, uh, particular AccuPlacer. But let's go and wrap this up. Again, uh, you know, if you're studying for this uh, seriously, which, you know, I certainly uh, hope you are because it's a, you know, it's an assessment. You know, you want to place into the highest level um, you can uh, in college. It's going to save you time and money. But if you're looking for a good program to study, again, I'm going to leave you a uh, link to my Placer uh, QAS um, math test prep course in the, in the description of this video. I also have literally hundreds of videos on my YouTube channel that uh, will help you out. So hopefully, and I'm posting all the time, so hopefully you'll consider subscribing. If you enjoyed this video, if you got something out of it, I would definitely appreciate a thumbs up. And leave me some feedback. Um, why are you taking the AccuPlacer QAS exam? Were you offered another exam or maybe another uh, type of uh, placement exam? There's other ones out there like Alex. There's other levels of AccuPlacer, um, etc. But, you know, the AccuPlacer is a very uh, widely used particular exam. But any feedback you would leave would be appreciated. It lets me know how I'm doing. It gives me um, ideas for future videos that could help you out. But with that being said, I definitely appreciate your time. Wish you all the best on the AccuPlacer QAS if that's what you're going to be actually taking. And have a great day.